The music mm. star is singing about drugs, rape, murder, kill. Yeah. Little Nas is dancing on the devil in his music videos. All of this is fine, but when you come along and say think for yourself mm. and don't and don't accept the Matrix programming at at, at face value, yeah. then you must go. But then you're an enemy of the system. Also, I just have to say you're wrong about nothing happens when all if all the women go to the street because y'all not gonna have anything to eat for dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, true, true. Sorry. anyway, yeah. I just also want to thank you, like yeah, Tam, so much for giving us a platform and also. You know, like backing up your friends, Andrew yeah. Tate. Um, no, I'm just yeah. like I'm straight. Thank he know, you. we know each other a long time, and you can't sway. When men have like, you can never like I've told Anna many times or other people, mm. give me a billion dollars cash to denounce Islam. I won't. A billion dollars cash, fill up this room. A lot of people will be like, yeah, you know, you mm. can never do it. You can never make me sway another way. Mm. And I've been like that. And he's like that. And that's why certain people get along oh. because you have the same kind. Have of you guys thing. known each other for a while? Been around oh. a circle. Stop, how well, long? Was what was he like before all of this? <laughs> always, always I always see him okay. popping up somewhere. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. you can tell a man's character when they fight. And I remember mm. when I first saw him, he's younger than me. Mm. And he was lean and tall and he fought uh, a few of the tough guys on the circuit. And uh, you could never beat, like he'd always go to him. We had an Iranian guy he fought who was a notorious guy, Reza. He was on the streets wrecking, mm. I don't want to say his name. In in jail, feared mm. what six second knockouts, and there was he was about eight, I don't know how old he 18. was. And Eighteen. I was, and I remember that fight because I was really sick. That Having week. a war with one of the toughest guys, not, not a, only not in the professional case. fight, like professional. Street. Oh, professional. Oh, okay. This guy was feared. Like literally, right. this guy fought Jimmy Manoa, who right. was a, like a UFC fight on that level in okay. those days, ahead of his time. Feared out of jail. Good friend of mine, you know, but yeah. a complete nutcase. And um, he was hanging there. And you look at him, you think, now what? This is a mismatch. <laughs> and he's they're going to war. You yeah. want, but you'd have to kill him. I remember then he was everyone would book him then because so when you see a guy in a fight you can see a lot about him right you can't hide under the lights of the ring you right. know there's an old saying you all the training comes out when you're in that ring right. so you can't be a world champion and be a clown or a, you know it's, it takes a lot of things a lot of men will never understand or feel and I always mm -hmm. say to every man you want to feel the ultimate the ultimate feeling apart yeah. from having my having kids of, of course but um. being a Muslim but is winning a fight I don't care who you yeah? are. Money, yeah. Money, drugs. You Prime say it. Really? It's primal. There's no it's feeling. There's right? no feeling right. to any man winning a fight. Put your hands up. The people. I'm not lying. It's from the beginning of time, from wars, from yeah. Khalid bin Walid to Genghis Khan to Alexander. Power, yeah. Yeah. And losing has the same negative effect. Negative like, effect, yeah, but like then depression. it's the hunger of going back. Okay. It dif differentiates the men from the boys right. as well. Mm -hmm. But any man who steps in that ring or cage, you respect their warriors because it takes a lot. Mm. We were saying that we went to an arena the other day to watch a game, but that feeling of your backstage getting wrapped, mm. you hear someone's been knocked out your necks, the cheers, it's like this tunnel, it's like the Coliseum. It doesn't matter where you fight. And it's an alpha male thing, and that's mm. that's why men and women are different. And I can, to every guy out there, you have to experience it once. Yeah. It changes your life. Yeah, you. Every man needs his ass kicked once his life right. to be a man, in right. my opinion. Yeah. And the guys who are cocky, stupid, and Larry, and all these guys who are against him have never had a fight in their life or been hit. Yeah. I'm telling you. Speaking it, it, speaking of the World Cup, I, I mean, we're talking about sports. Yeah. It's happening now in Qatar. Um, do you think Cristiano is gonna retire? I think for four million a week, no. <laughs> for what I'm here in Saudi, and I think he can do what he wants. I respect yeah, him. I like him want, as yeah. a man, legend of the sport. I think everyone's day comes in sport. Like, uh, how old is he now? 30, 37, 36, but for football. Yeah. It's like Andrew, he gets, I get calls all the time, and I'm saying to him, I'm the one saying to him, don't fight. For what? You're a world champion, you're, you're wealthy. Guys who fight are broke. I'm being yeah. honest, like, it's a passion to an age, and then when you keep fighting, you and see there's ex pros, mm. it's a paycheck. Mm. Yeah. You can tell me all you want, they're fighting for a paycheck. You don't you need lose to. You your legacy like that. It's all about legacy. Yeah. It's hard to wake up from silk sheets and go running in the morning. There's an yeah. old saying. He's got two daughters. That legacy yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, that's, and for, uh, legacy. that's the thing, but Cristiano hasn't got nothing to prove. And now it's about business and money. You can do yeah. what he wants. But yeah. for my point about the Qatar World Cup, is the West is races and biases it's just got but to stop they showed themselves though because so many positive things have come out of qatar they yeah. showed themselves i think that they're that an they example this, yeah. i think for now alcohol stadium should be banned because yeah. i was there at a game english and welsh you know normally with cocaine and alcohol there someone's getting bottled head butted mm. someone loses there was no violence everyone got Beautiful. on the place is safe and i think that's a testimony to the gcc and the government of qatar their stance they stood firmly against that rainbow agenda they took the stick and I respect that. A lot of people would have caved in and gone, okay, yeah, let's put flags right. everywhere, let's put rainbows and let's yeah. heal the world. They said no and you know, the West can say what they want but I respect them. As yeah. a nation, I really... Two, it's two, a beautiful two, place. Yeah, two points mm -hmm. about that. One, we just said, or you just made the point earlier that 
by restricting things and removing things, life can be better if you actually place boundaries. And we just mm -hmm. talked about it with the alcohol in stadiums. That's a perfect example of it. And also to tie into what we're saying earlier about agendas and how the Matrix are doing things on purpose. What the fuck has football got to do with this agenda? <laughs> the yeah, push? Insane, They're yeah. completely unrelated. They've just taken something popular, the most popular sport mm -hmm. in the world, and they've taken one of their agendas they've yeah. tried, and they've yeah. just fucking stuck them together and said, fuck you. And yeah, it's bullshit. It's, yeah. it's garbage. It's insanity. It's nothing time, to do with each yeah, other. Yeah, the halftime will be spent talking about LGBT issues. It's nothing it's to insane. do with yeah. each other. I didn't even realize it was football on. I just thought it was an LGBT program. Matrix and then programming. I realized, yeah. Matrix programming. They're trying very hard. Matrix <laughs> programming. And, and like I And they're winning in that regard. They've indoctrinated most of the world. But who's your money on today? Morocco or France? I'm praying for Morocco. Let's pray for Morocco. Can we pray? For sure. Morocco. For Morocco. 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 Let's It'll pray for Morocco. Historic. Inshallah. It'll be historical, but... Paris is, listen, Paris is getting sound fire either. <laughs> <laughs> Paris exactly. is burning. For sure. Paris, if not. you have a Lambo in Paris, oh, put it in the garage. I feel sorry for Parisians yeah, it's done. Yeah. It's done. It's Marbella's lucky. It's going to be a nightmare tonight. But oh. Inshallah, let's see. But it's oh. still good that they got this far. Oh, it's amazing. amazing and uh, yeah. Even though football, we don't really care for football. It's not your sport? Not your thing? For me... Individual sports, like we said, for me, the Alma sport is fighting from the beginning of time for the Greco Romans, mm. Spartans, Mano Mano. That, for me, that's the only sport. Football is good and things, but listen, you there's no sport like it. combat. Mm. Of course. And uh, like when you're younger, like I remember I was young, you, you go to a club, and, yeah, there's like Ronaldo, Gaza, Lineker. But when Mike Tyson's sitting in the corner, everyone's yeah. like, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. alpha, he can beat everyone up, he's rich, it's Tyson. Ronaldo wants a selfie. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. in, comes, comes, that comes. There's a different. Out all, Any the, man who's all watching, the movie stars go to the big boxing matches for yes. a reason. Yeah. Every man watching or kid will say you can have any sports star. Djokovic, I mean, who cares? All right, nice guy, but yeah. Djokovic is over there. That's great. There's Mayweather. There's uh, yeah, Khabib. Yeah. Fighting has this thing as kids. We liked He-Man. We liked WWF. We liked Rocky Balboa. It's instilled in them since the yeah. beginning of birth. So mm -hmm. you can't change that. Yeah. As much as you want to push an agenda to wear a skirt yeah. or play with Barbie. Yeah. Men and men. Men love He-Man. Tough to survive. I'm the hardest. Since... In the back of school parks, you're fine. I'm the strongest I am, headlock punching your brother. Yeah. And I know we're supposed to be wrapping up, but that is innate and it's biological and that's what they're attacking. That's yeah. what's happening here. They're trying to attack that and say that that's not the idea of masculinity. You don't have to be that way, etc. And the point I want to make about all of this, the final point about it is how dangerous that truly is because yeah. this idea of masculinity being under attack and people saying that, you know, men don't have to be real men. They don't have to stand up and and do what they're supposed to do and have a hard time. They can be more emotional and mm. be softer, et cetera. Mm. Do you know what you get when you get men who can't control their emotions? Violence. Yeah. Every school shooter, every fucking rapist, every and murderer. Men, off, these are men who right. cannot control their emotions. Right. You tell a man, I say to, uh, the part of being a man is acting the right way regardless of how you feel. Whether you're happy, sad, you have mm, to act yeah. like a man's supposed to because of your honor and duty. And society saying, no, you can act how you feel as a man. But that man. creates murderous, rapists, school shooters, and idiots. And domestic it's, violence. And domestic so violence. Domestic violence she pissed you off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You you're better like keep it chill. Yeah. You know, that, uh, like telling men not to control themselves. You can see very how quickly how society society will degrade yeah. very quickly it's all yeah. garbage and it's done on purpose and you wonder why crime rates are through the roof and, mm -hmm. and bro shaitan i'm never going back to the west <laughs> i'm staying here no I, uh, honestly i think yeah you're right you spotted those the west doesn't like it yeah. the people don't like having an agenda it's yeah. a fact because i've gone through hours i was thinking what was so bad what he said i've never like i literally had to look at everything they said i was like yeah. huh <laughs> like there's much worse like you say uh, cardi b's last song mm. going off topic it plays on Chris Frey, this yeah. radio version. First thing in the morning. No, it's like, like I, I, I am, everything's dubbed. Why are you playing the song? Yeah. 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 No, listen to it on radio. It's all dubbed. That's yeah. how vulgar it is. Mm. And Western society said, we don't like gangs. We don't like violence. We don't like gun culture. But yet mm. they'll pay millions of dollars for a rapper to come and perform on stage in England. Yeah. yeah. And they'll promote it. So you don't know what you're doing yourself. Yeah. Well, thank God for Dubai, I guess. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, Dubai. For Islam. Best city in the world. I was in London for six months over the summer and I was literally I'm like... I'm sorry for you. I apologize. I was so depressed. And then as soon as I landed, it's, I, I have to say this, Dubai is the best city. You love it, right? Hands down. It's the best. I can't believe I get to live here. I've been here a couple of years and I still can't believe I get to live in such an amazing city. Ha it's the best, hands especially down. as a woman. That's a testimony to the leadership. Yeah, You can absolutely. have money, you can have countries. Leaders uh, make... Leaders make countries, leaders make cities, and his vision, he's made it a safe haven. It's safe, yeah. it's got money, it's got the best of everything. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, safety, the way to make money, the tax. I mean, I, I was in a restaurant the other day, Dude. I saw him. He has no security. You can greet him. You can't, if you saw Boris Johnson in a restaurant, yeah. uh, he's gonna have about 5,000 people around him. Yeah. People are gonna start uh, wanker at him. No one cares <laughs> for him. The yeah. Sheikh drives around on his own, shakes hands with Amazing. people, gives what you want. 
I've seen people go up to him saying my wife's sick or I can't do this and they look after you. Yeah, so that's why the amazing. people love him as a leader because he looks after the people, hence the community's right, the yeah. safety's good and you need more countries like the way, uh, the Dubai, Arab world yeah, in the world. Incredible. I think the whole world will be better. Incredible. You nailed it. Yeah, that's exactly you spent it. six solid months in London. I know, I, I was so, so depressed. I couldn't <laughs> believe this was my life. And as soon as I landed like this, it was instant antidepressant. As soon yeah. as you land, so you don't have depression, you just live in London. That's just right. Just move. <laughs> yeah. right. I'm not gonna get into that one with him now about yeah, depression, because like, people will come hit me with that one. You don't have depression, right. just move. Khayala, come on, let's just move. It's wow. amazing. Yeah, mm. Thanks again. Lord no, thank you guys. Thank you. our special guest. I wanted to do this purely because a lot of people say it's always guys. You always sit with guys when Andrew say it's all guys. And wallahi, as a Muslim, nothing was pre-planned yeah, here. I didn't tell him to say anything. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to prove a point that it's all fake. Women also support the system. There are women out there who understand how life should be. And uh, I think you guys should speak up more. You, you are, but I think they're not giving you a platform. But it's good to give you a platform and speak up more because then they can't use the whole misogynist, sexist kind of angle, you know? Yep. So thank hey, you again. Thank and, uh, you guys. Stay thank tuned you. for the next thank episode. You. Thank you.